mirror behind this camera, so I can't really see myself. So, excuse me. <sighs> so, I have on this weird outfit. It's because I have on part of my uniform, and then I just don't have on, like, my vest and the necktie yet. Because, actually, I'm getting ready to go to work soon. So, okay, I'm good. I just wanted to do this video for you all today. And this video is going to be about, well, first of all, Welcome to Ambie Gonzalez. What? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh, man, I'm just all over the place. Hey, YouTube, this is your girl, Ambie Gonzalez from Ambie Gonzalez TV. And today I will be talking to you all about why I decided to become a flight attendant. So I know y'all see two afros in the back. Those are my babies. They're eating their cookies while mommy do a video. So don't mind them. So a lot of you are already aware that I want to become a court interpreter. That's my overall dream job. But in the meanwhile, like I know that that's going to take a minute to accomplish. I have to build my legal terminology and my proficiency, um, even in the English language, because I don't know a lot of legal terminology. So once I get all of that knowledge and attend the school that I want to go to, pass the exams, etc. Then I got to pass the state exam to become a court interpreter. It's really a long process. So until I get all that together, in the meanwhile, I knew that I wanted to work a job that I enjoy. So I sat back and I had my law of attraction book. And I was just writing down like the things that I wanted to attract in my life. It, it's a lot of things I have in that book. I, I'm not going to get too deep in it, but my Law of Attraction journal, I basically just put down everything that I wanted to do differently in 2016. So I basically started creating sticky notes and I started putting them up like on my walls, around my place, everywhere in my room. So that every time I wake up in the morning, I'm able to see the sticky note. And they pretty much say, I call them like my gratitude wall. So on each sticky note, it's just different things that I'm thankful for. So like one of them will say, thank you for um, traveling. Thank you now that I have a better job. Thank you for a job that pays 20 something an hour. Thank you for allowing me to go to Korea. Thank you for uh, healthy children. Thank you for a nice car. Thank you for a place to live. A lot of my sticky notes were basically things that I am thankful for, but at the same time, I was being thankful for things yet to come. So I was saying thank you for things I didn't have yet, which such as the traveling, and I said thank you for a job that allows me to travel. Um, thank you for my dream car thank you for my dream job and i even put up on one wall like oh my god i love my new job mind you i hadn't even really quit my job yet so <laughs> the job that i didn't like i hadn't quit it yet but i was just imagining having something i was imagining waking up every morning going to a job that i enjoy i didn't know that it was going to be flight attending this is just in my law of attraction book and my practices that i was doing every day along with my yoga my meditation and i just knew that i wanted a job that i enjoy every day is different every day is not the same i don't work with the same people i just really knew i wanted to do that i just didn't know what was going to open up the door for me to have this type of happiness so basically I ended up quitting my job because I didn't, I just, I was over it and I felt like, you know what, it's easy for me to get a job. So because of the Spanish, so if I quit this job today, I'll have a job by next week. It's no big deal. But mind you, so I quit my job. The next day I applied and I saw that this airline was hiring and it allowed me to be based right here where I live. Usually airlines don't allow you to be based where you live. You basically have to go with the flow. You have to be willing to relocate. So when I saw that it was openings and they were having like an open house interview, I applied. Within two days, I got a response and they invited me to an interview. So it was like, okay, <laughs> did this really just happen? Because it kind of just fell on my lap. I didn't really think nothing of it. And even then, I even told, I remember telling my mom, like, mom, I got invited to this interview. Um, she was like, well, what is it for? I'm like, to be a flight attendant. And she was just kind of like, oh, okay. You know, it was like a response like, well, okay. 
well, what are you going to do about your job now? She didn't know I had quit my job. Like, no one knew I quit my job. None of my friends or family. But um, just hearing people's reactions when I told them, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about doing this flight attendant thing, I knew people were kind of like, well, how is she going to do that with twins? Trust me, I was thinking that too. But all I could think about at the same time was, I asked for it, and here it is right in front of my face. I put in my Law of Attraction book. I've been meditating. I've been doing yoga. I've been putting it out into the universe that this is what I want. So now that I got back, it's like, it's in my face now. I have to take this opportunity, or at least try. So I told my mom, I was just like, well, you know, if it don't work out, it don't work out. But I think if I don't try, I will regret it. So I'm like, well, here it is again. This would have been my third time with this flight attending opportunity in front of me. The first time I turned it down. The second time I didn't get chosen. And the third time, which would be now, I actually went to the interview, got hired, and got invited back for training. Completed my training. Now I have my wings, and now I'm a flight attendant. So... I mean, I pretty much took a leap out on faith because it was unpaid training and, you know, I'm used to have getting paid every week, weekly, but to go from income to no income was a big deal for me. Like, a month with no income was a big deal. But I took a leap out on faith. I stayed positive. Overall, I just kept thinking about being in Seoul, Korea. Like, oh my God, like, this is what I'm asking for. <laughs> no, but um, I decided to become a flight attendant because 